So the thing about living in northern Australia is this wet, dry season change. So that if you're an aquatic animal, the wet season is a good time to be around, but you then have to deal with the dry season when lots of the creeks and the rivers and the water holes actually stop flowing and in many cases dry up. So we've heard about long neck turtles bury themselves under the mud. Things like crocodiles will retreat to permanent water. You'll get hundreds of crocodiles in little permanent water holes. In some cases, they don't actually make it to the water holes. So what happens is, in the place we studied was that in a creek, the creek would completely dry up and there were these caverns up under the edge of the creek that would go back several metres. And uh, if you crawl into those caverns, you'd find them full of crocodiles, full of freshwater crocodiles, crocodiles Johnsoni. So these crocs would spend months at a time in these uh, caverns. This is at a time of year when the Marge females should have been off nesting, so clearly this was a survival mode for them. And the really neat thing about crocodiles is because they're reptiles, they have a low metabolic rate, so they can go for a long period without food, and they can survive a long period without water. So these animals, even though we'd been studying them for five months out of water, they still weren't dehydrated. They've got a waterproof skin, they cut their metabolic rate down, and they manage to shift their metabolism so they're not needing as much water for digestive, or sorry, for metabolic purposes. So these boring existences it was, crocodiles, like lots of animals in northern Australia, can survive long periods of time without water. So the freshwater crocodile work was probably the most exciting stuff that uh, we got involved in. And essentially it meant crawling into these dry creek beds, crawling up into a cavern, pushing yourself forward, sort of on your belly, underneath the undercut, grabbing a crocodile by the tail and pulling it out to the point where you could put your hand on its head and then subdue it. In most cases these were only a metre or so, but we remember one day we had to pull an eight foot croc out of a, out of a cavern and there was a bit of excitement as it came out. <laughs> eight foot. Freshwater crocodile. Yeah. So the cabins were reported to us by a ranger who'd been told about it by a stockman. So there's all these lots of stories in northern Australia come from word of mouth from people who've observed things out on country.